In 2015, I was living in Dubai. I wanted to take on a new challenge, an adventure in my life, and I've always wanted to connect with nature and go to different areas, explore more of the world. I decided to climb mountains, but I've never done like any extreme sport as mountaineering, and I worked hard for it for two and a half, three years. I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, Mena Peak, and then when I climbed those two mountains, I was like, okay, maybe I should climb Mount Everest from the Tibetan side and be the first Arab woman and achieve some history. It took us almost 50 days. Because of the acclimatization process, uh, the body cannot take climbing up on higher altitudes without uh, getting used to it. So we would climb from the base camp to a higher camp, stay one night or two nights, depending on the height. And then we go back to the base camp. So it takes us two to three trips, I would say, before the summit push. <coughs> For two days, approximately. I had bad days where I felt really sad and I felt I cannot make it because all of us get sick at some point on the mountain from the altitude. So there was a lot of empathy. So it was nice to see like you connect as humans <laughs> rather than as a certain country or like a religion. You're just humans on the same place where you need to support each other. The year that I climbed in 2019, the weather was really bad and we had a lot of moments where the guides told us that we might not be able to reach this year because of the weather circumstances. So we were watching the um, weather forecast every day. The guides decided that there are two to three days where it's okay to climb Mount Everest. Reaching the top is a feeling that I will never forget. I felt most alive, I felt most human and I felt how important it is to connect to each other, to build up the teamwork together, uh, to care about the others on the summit. And that's how I started searching more about what can I take on next to be more of a useful, giving person in this world. So when I came back, I did find out about coaching, life coaching. So that was something I wanted to take on and learn. And uh, I recently finished that, becoming a mindset coach. I also focused on the sustainability and sustainable living because I believe it affects not only the environment but also the mental health of people. I hope to achieve uh, my new chapters in Dubai and hopefully to take this and move forward with it globally.